Hey friends, Ryan Duth here. It is Tuesday, December 19th, 2023 on vacation. So we're working on some of these machines that have problems. <clears throat> so Star Trek here, uh, it hasn't done it since I moved it to the arcade space and I need to get some echo stuff in here because goddamn this room is terrible. Um, the displays would glitch out. Um, like it would be like flickery and had a bunch of random numbers and stuff. And then you'd go like this and it would stop. But you can see, there, there we go. That's what it does. So you go and it stops. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it open and check some of the connectors and uh, see if there's a cold solder joint on number one or something. This is in the queue for like a full restoration, but I've had this for a couple of years on like a player machine and it works great. Drop targets are a little tough to get them to fall down, but other than that, and there's a couple lights out. Like if you watch the four, it doesn't work. And I think one of the bonus ladder Okay, that Christine's itself too. Anyway. So what we're gonna do, yeah, like we're gonna pull this apart and see if we can fix it so it stops doing that crap because it just ruins your game. Okay, let me pull the glass and we'll go from there. All right, so hopefully you can see this through my big hand here. Look at that one. But if I go through and wiggle, like looking for cold solder joints. Down here, and down here. All the displays stay pretty solid, but I figured it was up in here somewhere since pounding on there fixes it. So we wiggle this connector, not that it happens, but we wiggle this connector and everything starts glitching out. So, I guess what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> pull that off of there, reseed it, and then try it. I mean, it's obviously a new board, so you wouldn't think it would have that issue. But if it still does it, we'll pull it off of there and see if there's a cold solder joint or something on the back of it. Um, so, fuck it, we'll do it live, right? Damn switch, okay. Let me obviously repin that one. That was pretty solid. back in there. That may have been all that's needed. That was an exciting movie. Wiggling it pretty hard, nothing's happening. Hooray. So, maintenance done on Star Trek. Actually, I actually have two of these. One's in, in the storage room over here that doesn't work thinking about getting the GTO board for it when I get that going. Um, I don't know if it works at all, actually. I bought it out of a guy's van, literally, 
drove up to Dallas and he had it sitting in his damn van for two or three months. So I backed my truck up to his van and loaded it in there and went home. <coughs> what I don't know is why that one says three. Um, cause it, you play a game and that stops. So I need to look in the manual or whatever and see what that's all about. Bulb here. Oh, it's not out. It's control. Duh. All right. Let's go over here and give it some love like we were doing. Well, that was easy. I can't believe I never did that before. So, moral of the story, don't be a lazy bastard. Anyway. Let's see if we can do this one handed. I need to put that flipper control thing in here so I can. So the guy I bought this from was a reseller. Uh, he put these stickers. You probably can't really tell, but they're decals. You can get them on uh, God, whatever it is that owns the Bally Williams name. I forget. They have a couple kinds. Planetary. Yeah, planetary pinball. But this has stickers on all these damn things, and this whole yellow thing is, in fact, a sticker. I mean, you can see. Let me get the glare right. It's it's awful under there. So we'll see if we get a new play field or we fix it. But maybe we'll try and fix it. It's not bad. It's... <coughs> Bumpers sure do this stuff pretty good though. Yeah, see the drops could use a little adjustment, but we won't mess with that till we go to restore it. Yep, alright, we'll keep it real. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Should have put the glass back on. Alright, catch you next time. Later.